Welcome back to the Game Show Global Esports Cup here on Game Show underscore D2N. A little bit of a delay here as we have to wait for everything to come back in line. Apparently the admin's Dota crashed and we had to go for another remake and it was all a mess. But we're back here now with Keystars versus Complexity Gaming, game number two. I'm Grant Isfee, once again, going to be joined by Complexity. Fingers crossed, no issues this time. Absolutely. Um, and... I think that this one should end up working. I'm excited to see what ends up happening from the draft. A whole bunch of interesting heroes. We have seen a good amount of Legion Commander fairly recently, but uh, Brewmaster from time to time as well. Chen is probably the standout, as I would imagine, the most strange. Nature's Prophet being getting more play seen as well. It's it's just all a little bit different, and I'm excited to see where we go with it. It, it looks to be pretty good. Yeah, and even though we've seen Legion Commander... A little bit in the last couple of weeks and is getting a little bit more popular. Safely farming Legion is usually not where you're going to see that hero, and I think that's what we're in for this game. Well, and if you do end up seeing it, it tends to be only in response to a, a brew mother, or a, yeah, yeah. A brood mother as well, mm -hmm. which isn't something that we're seeing in this game. <laughs> but like to the, like the brood mother, there's so many summons. So I really do like the pick, and I think it uh, might work out for complexity quite well. Now, everybody's going to go out to the lanes. Currently, Complexity uh, moving out is mostly a five-man unit with the power of Chilling Touch. I don't think the Keithstar should be interested in taking a level one fight. Chen, awful level one. Nature's Prophet, mediocre at best. Brewmaster, pretty bad. Gyrocopter and Tusker are okay, but uh, not nearly as impressive as this AA. They're going to spot out this whole rotation with the Dire Observer that placed very swiftly as they went out to lane. Now we're going to scout them out with the Treants, which is one of the big benefits of having your Nature's Prophet, just uh, that extra bit of intel. Although it might give away the first soul of the game to the Shadow Fiend. He has got Necromastery 1. If they can get this soul, that's actually not... Uh, it's something that you can ignore. An extra 2 damage in the very early laning stage in a lane that's already uh, maybe a little bit Troublesome for the Brewmaster? That could be relevant, but it's not going to happen. His um, tree is going to escape. His complexity are going to be denied this first blood, or at least this early fight that they've been looking for. Absolutely, and looking to be set on up to trade on out runes, absolutely no problem. I did end up looking up real quickly the stats. Brewmaster, 19 games played, 13 and 6. Uh, his win rate only two behind the tiny in terms of how effective he's been able to be. So, considering this is a hero that's been out of the meta for so long, I think it's largely just based off of the changes to the heroes that we've been seeing. The fact that a lot of those very bursty, strong, lane-dominating heroes aren't as prevalent as they were before, it's why he's been able to come back into sort of existence here, um, as he does end up accidentally missing a little bit of that block, but no big deal at all. Everything is fine. Yeah, the block ends up being all right for the Brewmaster anyway, but this lane, maybe not so much. There's a Winter Wyvern here, and for any hero, Brewmaster no exception, this is super annoying. He's going to be zoned off of the creeps, as Shadow Fiend will freely get a couple of these early souls, although one of these creeps is going to escape him under a tower, so he won't be able to secure that one. Chen, it looks like he's going into the aggressive jungle. Very interesting. The Radiant to place down an Observe Ward around the corner is he's going to look to secure a creep and he will get a Hellbear Smasher, but I thought almost for sure that Chen would be inside his own woods and that this Observe Ward placed down very deep by complexity would slow him down a lot, but yeah, you know what? If you're going to get those early wards, Chen might just go into your own jungle. This takes a lot of Chetafine's farming potential away and now the Winter Wyvern's going to be bumped into the wraparound from the Smasher. They won't be able to get in range for that Smash yet, but now with an Ice Shard's Wall off, they will. Winter Wyvern's going to be your first blood. Arctic Burn has a crazy long cooldown early 50 seconds no way to escape that is such a surprising first blood from keen stars i'm sure winter wyvern hadn't the, uh, the foggiest idea that that was happening and there's no real way to punish this either. Their heroes that they have are not going to be able to stand up to a Tusk Chen dual jungle. Like, you can't fight against that right now. And it looks like they're going to rotate on in and try and make a jump around. They're going to be able to catch the Shadow Fiend here. Shards end up connecting. He's going to end up falling. And a quick two kills in succession. Brewmaster looks to be able to survive this one. I think, no, does finally fall in the end, but might end up coming at the cost of this Winter Wyvern yet again. Another kill. And suddenly, this Chen is just doing so much in this laning phase. Well, th this is so surprising. I don't think, if, if you looked at the draft, Keithstars are going to, uh, traditionally, just farm up on the Chen, try to get an early advantage, get those early levels, get the creep army as quickly as possible available for them, and then start grouping up and looking for pushes. But Vestius from the gate 
has been playing this more like an aggressive jungle enchantress than a Chen. He's been so active. This will come at the cost of a little bit of farm, but since he's gotten two kills, he already has boots. In fact, this courier is going to be flying out the boots for the Tusk 2 and two sets of sentries. To deny away the vision from the enemy team, without vision of these rotations, the Chen becomes so much more imposing. This does come at the cost, however, of Gyrocopter's farm in the top lane. He's not doing poorly. 6 and 0 is not bad, considering the laning stage. He's solo against an 8 person spirit record, that's terrifying. But to really, the story of this early game is the Chen in their rotations. Well, and he doesn't necessarily need to be doing crazy good. The big thing and the reason that you want to get Gyrocopter a lot of farm early is so that that way he's going to be able to accelerate and farm a ton for the late game. He doesn't need to do that in this game. He just needs to get level 6. They start taking down towers, and this Chen is going to be the most important person in this game and his ability to build on up a big army and then start taking towers. He's going to get charged back behind the Tier 2 tower now. Needs to be very, very careful. Rocket Barrage does end up coming down, running away. The Nature's Prophet TPs on in and is going to make sure that he ends up staying and survive nicely done there yeah similar to the last game though we're seeing complexity get a vast advantage when it comes to the creep farm that they're getting and tusk does die in the meantime in the bottom half of the map three compared to two is our kill score is fairly even but it, the cs chart it's not even close all three of the top farms in this game belong to the Keed's lineup which is or to the complexity lineup excuse me Keed are just not getting very much momentum at all yeah, it's kind of crazy, the the fact that that's ended up happening right now. You'd expect that they'd be able to get a little bit more, but um, just by virtue of the fact that you were able to sort of own that lane early, I wonder, potentially you imagine how that... how aggressively that... this Legion's going against the Tusk. Can she kill off Lullaby? It looks like it's going to get close. Snowball's there. Ice shards are available. Another right click. The Legion Commander can't quite get that kill. With the Tangos, we'll be able to munch through those trees. The Sprout is not going to be lethal, and Legion will be fine. It's forced so many rotations from Keed Stars to save these years. Nature's Prophet is the one to do that, but after such a roaring start for Vestius on the Chen, things have settled down and Complexity have found their footing again. I, I wonder now, oh, top lane, we are going to end up getting another catch here on top of the Gyrocopter. Cold Feet coming out, another right click. He needs one bash to be able to get this kill. Isn't going to be able to find it. Actually, never mind. Just a right click on down. Didn't even need actually the chilling touch by the end of all of it. Uh, the thing that I was going to say, though, is that if you take a look at sort of what they've been able to do, I don't really... I I imagine if this was a TA or some other strong laning hero instead of the Brew, all of a sudden you end up being in a situation where this lane is won super hard, but because of how good the Shadow Fiend's been able to do in it, all of a sudden the early advantage is kind of lost. <laughs> Legion again, just going to force Nature's Prophet to TP out. He's playing so aggressively because he can, and now he's going to have duel. TPs like that are not going to work out for you, and it really feels like the crucial timing window for Key to hit is coming around very shortly. They need to use this first split to get crucial kills, or else they're just going to lose the War of Attrition. Complexity have heroes that are farming very well. Spiritbreaker is getting so much space in the top lane. Shadowfiend flash farms like nobody's business, and Vestius on this Chen is only level 3. Granted, he has a thousand gold. This Chen is doing fine for himself, but the other course not so much. They snowball in. The Shadow Fiend is going to get split upon, and this is that crucial kill that they needed. Is that enough, though? It keeps them in this game. It buys them a little bit more time, but Shadow Fiend's still at the top of the net worth chart, and even if this tower falls, which it looks like that's going to be unlikely, it's not going to matter much. They're charging Vestius. The Chen in a lot of trouble here. They have an Orb of Venom and Power Treads on the Spirit Breaker. They're going to get caught inside the Sprout. The trees will be created. Swindles, as well as the Winter Wyvern, are going to be able to get out there to safety. 3-4 to four is our kill score. Vestius will live for a while longer yet. Nature's Prophet maybe not so lucky. Charge for it. Jublu is going to take a couple more shots. They don't get the bash with Drunken Haze. He misses the auto attack and now Swindles is turned around upon. Here comes the raises. One gonna connect. Second, not so much. The Brewmaster has retreated. 4-4. Four to four. The Winter Wyvern got the Nature's Prophet with a snipe and now they're gonna look for a duel. They are going to hold this for as long as possible to ensure they get the damage with a bash with a raise. That's going to be the death and the first victory of this game for the Legion Commander. Really, really solid. Top three cores are going to be complexity. This is the point in time right now where if you're key, do you want to be winning? I don't know how they're going to be able to deal with this effectively. The one sort of bright spot again is that they haven't brought in the gyrocopter yet. So once they bring him in, if they're able to win a big team fight with the next brew split, then you start to really come back onto track. But they're going to need a lot very quickly. Uh, if the status quo remains as is for the next five, ten minutes, then they're going to lose this game. Uh, Z Freak turn it back around, is going to end up getting killed, though, in the end. Not going to be able to finish on off this Tusk, who walks away from that one. 
Yeah, first issues of call down. Good kill for the gyrocopter. It's not enough. Despite being 5 to 5, the advantage that Complexity have made for themselves is about 2,000 net worth and 3,000 experience, which I think is the more impressive, especially these supports are suffering for the experience, which is not something you usually see from a Chen because they're mostly in their defensive jungle, but once Vestia stopped getting kills, which was very early on, uh, the first three kills same, came so easily for him, He's not able to get to that level 6 to get Hand of God available to them, and Ancient Apparition will get 6 soon, Winter Wyvern also, and these ultimates are such a big advantage for Complexity in the next upcoming fights. It's stopping Keed from being able to execute and getting off this Brewmaster split, maybe most importantly, as they charge up top. All right, I'm going to end up calling that one off. The TPs were coming in to make sure that he was going to be fine. I think also as well that you normally end up seeing the Chen being able to take a Wildkin or something else like that so that that way you can tornado down snacks, uh, stacks, get yourself a really quick mechanism on up. But he doesn't have that yet. He has his buckler, needs to finish off the mech, and then they can start grouping together and pushing. And if you're able to get that probably within the next three to five minutes, then they're potentially going to be able to take these next couple of fights but he desperately needs that farm uh and you're starting to see some pressure applied by several of these other heroes in the area oh, Ancient gyro. Apparition, Winter Wyvern. they're gonna be able to find him call down not gonna hit onto anybody oh now that's with good. that they're gonna get the nether strike lock him in place with a bash to the damage is insane two points to the bash two points to the charge they're gonna chase forward for jubilee they lose their ancient emperor on the retreat ice shards are going to wall off lullaby he still has the snowball to go for swindles winter wyvern is going to be the target that they change focus onto that test of faith really wasn't all that impressive and the winter wyvern will survive to turn and throw another splinter blast not killing anybody but it is going to drop them low a one for one exchange they'll favor complexity not only because it's a more important kill on the gyrocopter compared to the AA, but because the Legion and the Shadow Fiend are farming. We saw this in the last game, where Keed are finding good rotations to get kills and punish the aggressive move from the enemy team, but at the cost of farming space, Leech Commander might be able to turn around and kill this gyrocopter once the Spirit Breaker comes in. Gyro needs to be very careful, or call in backup, whichever comes first, but Nature's Prophet TPs into the woods, and gyrocopter might just get dove. I think that they can probably do that. They know that he's here. Legion's going to end up going for this one. Unless he runs away right now, he is actually dead, and they're going to be able to catch him now. There's the first bash. Nether Strike is still on cooldown, but going to be able to find this dual victory. I do believe... I don't think that they can kill this. A Blast coming in as well does end up staying alive through it. As the Purge comes off, Legion Commander walking away. 20 dual victory, the better. Yeah, and now we're getting very close to that Blade Mail or the Blink Dagger for the Legion Commander, or maybe even a Drums wouldn't be bad this game, just a, an early fighting item. Clap is going to be thrown by the Brewmaster, a couple of Razors connect, Nether Strike, he gets the Bash, and one more right-click, Shadowfiend kills him off. Chen's coming in with these creeps, three Centaurs inside the Snowball, one stun, and that might be all they need, with the Test of Faith it is. Vestius on a killing spree, Charge Forward, Swindles is now fighting against the Centaur army, but with that overwhelming odds, they'll kill off one, and now looking for another, Ice Blast connects. And Leech Commander with a couple of moments of courage, Prox will be able to kill him off, and the entire Centaur army. They get the Shadow Fiend, but have to pay very dearly for it. The Blink Dagger is online for Legion now. That was, oh uh, god, you looked at that, you thought that the centaurs were going to be able to make it happen, not going to be able to be the case this time around, A Blast is going to be back up in 15 seconds, Nature's Prophet I don't believe realizes this is coming at him, they've also got another strike, oh no they don't, they ended up using that one, they're actually going to call this off, so kind of okay there, um, still <laughs> not a great situation as they're probably going to find the gyrocopter in just a second or two here as well, with the A Blast already up, they can charge on in. This is a free kill whenever they want it, basically. Winter Wyvern comes around the corner, has the curse. They're going to drop it. They have the cold feet available. Do they even need the Winter's Curse for this kill? They don't. He's going to shatter. And down to the low ground with the Winter Wyvern earning up. They have the charge going on to the Brewmaster. He has the split. They're going to TP away the Spirit Breaker and walk away the Winter Wyvern. Everybody will be back home. The biggest issue for Keed this game is not their supports and not their ability to contribute with their spells, but just the fact that they're getting out farmed. Compare the top three net worth heroes in this game, the complexity cores, to the cores coming out from Keed stars, and really, it's just so sad how little farm the gyrocopter still pick up. He has phase Aquila. Compare that to the Leech Commander, who has phase, poor man, shield, wand, and then a blink dagger on top of it. The advantage top with lane. this blink dagger, yeah, they, they kill off Jubilee with it. And that's another dual victory. This Legion's picking up so much momentum. 34 damage now. 12 minutes in, this is such a fast start for the Legion. Yeah, it, they need to group up right now together as five, and they need to try and take a fight with Bruce Split. They've got gyrocopter ulti, they've got the mechanism. They need to actually go on into this one right now, because if they don't 
right now, I think that they can't win. And it does yeah. look like they're moving together to go towards that mid lane. But Charge coming in, they might not be able to find their window as Nature's Prophet still hasn't respawned yet. And the Charge is, is going to be able to catch this Chen. Oh, God, the A Blast going to connect as well. He is going to die before he's even able to get off the Hand of God. Meanwhile, a lot of damage being dealt down on Swindle. He is going to end up falling. So they get two. But I think at this point, they can trade a Tier 2 Tower for the Tier 1. Shadow Fiend's invis. He has a point in presence of the Dark Lord, but maybe he gets a good Requiem here. They have the Winter's Curse. He's just going to right-click, raise down the Gyrocopter. Split is going to be held for a little while longer. Brewmaster eventually commits. The Requiem inside the tree is going to delay a lot of the damage on the Winter Wyvern. And the Cold Embrace is going to stop that punch from doing next to anything. Jubilee is going to die with the Splinter Blast from the Winter Wyvern. As the Shadow Fiend is Cyclone, but here comes Legion. The Winter Wyvern is still healed up. Press the attack, and Winter Wyvern will live. The Leech Commander is chasing for this Tusk Duel with the overwhelming odds movement speed. There is no way out for Lullabies. They kill off the Brewmaster on the back lines. One moment of courage, Brock, and he's swiped down. The situation for Keed, they have to group up, but they can't lose heroes. If they group up, they're losing experience, and it's such a huge advantage for Complexity at this point that I'm not sure if they can do it. Their timing window is almost over as Complexity are outplaying them at the timing window, where Keed are theoretically at their strongest. And the Winter Wyvern there, being able to have the maxed out Splinter Blast by the time they grouped on up together, that was one of the big considerations, was were they going to be able to get that skill online? And you saw it come into full effect there. They were able to burst on down the Nature's Prophet. He had about a quarter of, an H, uh, quarter of his HP left and instantly destroyed by the Winter Wyvern. 340 magical damage at this stage in the game is ridiculous. That's about half of Chen's HP uh, after you take into consider or before you take into consideration all of the uh, the magical resistance. But it's just it's too much now and they, they can't I, I don't I don't know how they come back into this game. It's really hard. And this Shadow Blade on the Shadow Fiend, although right now he has an Invis rune, might just kill a Festius. One right click. Raze misses the first one, at least, on the Chen. Doesn't matter. It'll right click him down. Test of face. Test of faith. Not test of face. On the Winter Wyvern is uh, not going to be enough. And they're just losing all momentum. 18 to 8 is our kill score. Is Complexity are almost entirely out farming the enemy team. The only one that's behind is Z Freak on the HG Apparition. Bless his heart, he's the lowest farmed hero inside this game, but it doesn't matter because they have so many over farmed heroes. On the other side of the map, Winter Wyvern almost has a Glimmer Cape, and this is before Gyrocopter even considers picking up his drums. And again, jump oh, forward. Armlet duel. <laughs> Just, it's, he's, he's dead. Uh, Hand of God comes on out. Not going to be enough there. We do get the Snowball Ford. Maybe going to be able to find a pickoff here, but the Armlet Toggle is going to be enough, as is the Shadow Fiend. I do believe Walrus punched down on top of a creep. Don't worry, nobody saw it. Charging in again is going to be Swindles. He's going to find the Brewmaster. Nether Strike again. This is getting dangerously close to GG at this point in time, as over and over it again, is? they're able to get what they wanted. GG, 15 minutes in. They missed their window. Yeah, they really did. I like Complexity's draft. I didn't think they'd take it that convincingly. That is a 15-minute victory, commanding performance coming up from Complexity. Across the board, the execution was almost flawless. And this was after a start where the Chen gets two back-to-back -back kills after being in the aggressive jungle. I thought that Keed would be able to build up momentum after that, but after the first Chen kills, nothing happened. Thanks for tuning in to the game show Global Esports Cup. Complexity looking strong as they move on to the next series of the day against Pain Gaming. I've been Grand SV. I've been joined by Lyrical Dota. I don't think he's going to be with me for the next series, but thanks for tuning in and uh, thanks for joining me, Lyrical. It's been a pleasure. Always fun to have you on the line. Absolutely. Um, absolute pleasure. Can't wait to come on back for some more of this stuff and uh, looking forward to seeing what ends up happening in that next game there. I'll have to check it out later on.